Hello there students, I hope that you are doing great. Today we are going to explain the passive voice which is a lesson in module number 4. So let's start. When do we use the passive voice? We use the passive voice when we want to focus more on the action or the object than the subject. We want to know what really happened. That's what matters for us, right? Not the doer of the action. Number two, when we don't know who did the action, right? The doer of the action is anonymous. So these are two cases in which we can use the passive voice. Very good. So let's start with this example. Please have a look at this, uh, this picture here. We have a thief here and a bag of money. So the thief stole the money. Okay. The subject is the thief, the verb stole, and the object is the money question here is what happened to the money okay now we are here focusing on what happened right on the action right which is stealing money right the uh, so the sentence will be the money was stolen by the thief let's have a look at this sentence okay the subject is the money right in the first sentence the subject was the thief and the money was the object but in the second sentence we have the money as a subject Okay, and now we added the verb was, right, verb to be in the simple past. We also put the verb stole in the past participle, which becomes stolen. Now, why did we add the verb to be in the simple past, not the simple present? Because we have the verb in, verb in the active sentence or in the original sentence in the simple past. So, the thief stole the money is in the active voice, and the money was stolen by the thief is in the passive voice, right? Now, let's study this again, right? Okay, uh, again, the active voice is the thief stole the money, the passive voice, the money was stolen by the thief, okay? So, the subject is the thief, the verb is stole, and the money is, of course, the object of the active sentence. So here, is, uh, here are the changes that we are going to have. The money, which is the object in the first sentence, becomes the subject of the passive voice of the passive sentence. And the subject of the active sentence becomes the object of uh, the passive sentence. And the verb is changed into the past participle. And we add the verb to be in the simple past. Why? Because the verb here is in the simple past. If the verb here is in the simple present, here it should be is or are. Okay? Now, how do we form the passive voice? Number one, we start the sentence with the object of the active sentence. Right? The money here becomes the subject of the passive sentence. Okay? Number two, we add the verb to be, that it should be conjugated in the tense of the active sentence. The tense in the active sentence here is the past, so the verb to be here should be in the past. Very good. Number three, add the past participle of the main verb. So here is the main verb, right? We should add the past participle because the verb here is stole. It is an irregular verb. We, the, the past participle of stole is stolen. Okay, right? The last thing, right, the last step, sometimes we add by plus the subject of the active sentence, by the thief, like what we have here. All right, okay. Now, let's see uh, another example, which is in the simple past. Now, I would like you to guess the passive form, right, okay, of this sentence. Hemingway, this is the guy, this is Hemingway, he's an American writer. Rot, The Old Man and the Sea. This is a wonderful novel that, by the way, I advise you to read. Okay, Hemingway wrote The Old Man and the Sea, right? So we should start by what? By, very good, by the object, which is the old man and the sea. And the sentence becomes the old man and the sea was, here we added the verb to be in the simple past because here the verb is in the simple past, written by whom? By Hemingway. Very good. Now, let's see the other tenses. Now, we have just been uh, focusing on the simple past. Let's have a look at the other sentences while using the same example, right? Let's start with the simple present. Leila feeds an animal. So, this is, these are in the active. And so, let's see. Leila feeds an animal becomes 
an animal is fed as is fed by Leila. Very good. Present continuous. Leila is feeding an animal. An animal is being is being fed by Leila. Present perfect. Leila has fed an animal. An animal has been fed by Leila. In the simple past, Leila fed an animal. An animal was fed by Leila. In the past continuous, Leila was feeding an animal. An animal was being fed by Leila. In the past perfect, Leila had fed an animal. An animal had been fed by Leila. Correct. The simple future, Leila will feed an animal. An animal will be fed by Leila. The future perfect, Leila will have fed an animal. An animal will have been fed by Leila. And of course, with the modal verbs, right? They are the same, like can, should, must, have to, might, may, etc. Leila can feed an animal. An animal can be fed by Leila, right? This is the passive voice of all the tenses, right? These are the transformations from the active to the passive in all the tenses. Please have a look at them, right? You can stop the video for a while, pause the video for a while, and have a look at these, uh, uh, and have a look at the, cha uh, the table. Now, let's move on. Yes, let's uh, do some practice, okay? I would like you to rewrite, rewrite the following sentences using the passive voice. You might want to pause the video for five minutes or so to do the exercise, okay? And then play the video again so that you can see the correction. All right, I suppose by now that you have done the exercise. Very good students, so let's correct. Number one. The cat ate my breakfast. It becomes, uh, my breakfast was eaten by the cat. Very good. Germany defeated Brazil in the last World Cup. Brazil was defeated by Germany in the last World Cup. Number three, the maid cleans the house every day. The house is, is cleaned by the maid every day. Ahmed has washed the car. The car has been washed by Ahmed. Sara is making a cake at the moment. A cake is being made by Sara at the moment. All right, this is it. And thank you very much for your attention.